Hello viewers and welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network. And this afternoon, we need to take a look on a very interesting topic. Chris Mchangwa is reportedly fighting back on the Mafidi dynasty and a lot is happening. Remember, there are so many evictions which are happening and these evictions are touching mainly ZANU-PF supporters. And um, these are people who have been in the, uh, in the, in the, in the farms for a very long time, two, two decades plus. These are the people who are being evicted. And Chris Mchangwa has taken that opportunity to mobilize uh, and galvanize his supporters against the Mafidi dynasty. Remember, Chris Mchangwa, when it comes to propaganda, he is a commander in chief of propaganda and he knows how best to make people fight, especially when there's a catalyst in this moment in time is um none other than so let us take a look on um this article or on this tweet right here from Majaira Jairosi, a very interesting tweet which is right here where he is actually um informing us about this move which is being taken by Chris Christopher Muchangwa. And it's very interesting, Team Zimbabwe, very interesting developments happening. He says, Christopher Mchangwa is shrewd. He's now mounting resistance against the Mnangagwa dynasty through a systematic call to protest for those who were given land by ZANPF as a means to buy votes. He has mobilized the people to reject Mnangagwa's plot for a Mafidi dynasty. And if these allegations are true, what it means is the Mafidi dynasty is doomed and uh, it is going to crash and collapse before it is even um, a fully established. Remember, they are trying to amend the constitution so as to force two thirds, uh, sorry, so as to force uh, more than two terms for the current sitting president. The major question is, will they win? They've started campaigning for him within the ZNBF party and structures, and we have seen uh, the slogan, 2030, um, we have seen it trending all over. And uh, a lot of ZANPF comrades are not happy with that because only those who are benefiting, those who are eating, are the people who are uh, actually working on this bogus slogan. So let us go through this story and understand what is really happening. Okay, so can the not sure brush, can I should just, okay, so can you post it? Okay, so the China Chin, ZANPF is war veterans, that's why they removed him. Um, they are afraid of Chimuti Chayenda. Okay, and they are afraid but Chimuti Chayenda. So Chuenga is getting ready for his turn. The barracks all over the country are warming, uh, warming him up. So can the Yana Bila, he could have cause it, Siki Sanimota, after Vatori Wamunda Nezanu Wains, why a re? And the farmer, Jairus farmer, so can the cool and comfortable Chuenga and Dia Vapanyanga, Sibanda. Soon will be vice president. Skanzi, my popcorn is ready for this. Uh, we are about to witness deadly fights. Zaganzi Zatanga, Zaganzi Anoputiswa, and the Uyanyawena. Okay, so this is what is happening in Zimbabwe. But let me give you my own insight, my own view. Is this possible? Is there a probability or a possibility of Mukrisi Muchangwa launching a fight against the Mafidi regime or the Mafidi? dynasty is very important for us to take a look in such a direction personally i think that um yes it is going to be a very difficult task for him but it's possible because at this moment in time the munangagwa regime is at its weakest remember they are fighting no so they 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 think that they've destroyed him and uh they use the people like rana Wopu to actually do all these things, and they have been exposed right now. Everybody is now able to see that Wapo Uchungono has been working with the team Lacoste uh, together with Tendai BT and um, uh, Walsh Mengube and others. So these people, they have been placed in, in, in a situation where they are working with Noso Nchamisa is in a position where uh, you can force some things to happen within the nation of Zimbabwe, which gives ZANU-PF 
Lacoste, sleepless nights. And it affords this team an opportunity to strike back, especially the evictions which are happening right now. All areas where Mnangagwa had won um, the elections, they are actually saying, we are not going to continue supporting you. There are areas or places where Kunema uh, tax shops, Angachi Batsravano, which are being demolished. Although the villagers are, have not yet been affected, but those owners of the tax shops have been um, have been affected. The villager, villagers have been indirectly affected because they are now resorting to around 10 to 15 kilometers, 20 kilometers to buy uh, something. What, which makes it more difficult for, for, for the regime to sustain uh, its, its campaign in the rural areas. So there is a lot, there are secret meetings which are being held. We are seeing ZANPF people, ZANPF people moving uh, frequently, which makes us question, why are these people moving so frequently as if there is an election? Which means there is something hidden behind and there is a lot which is happening in the nation of Zimbabwe. So personally, my own view, I can say if this is happening, then it's a plus for 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 for, for the people of Zimbabwe because we have we have been crying, but we have been crying a lot right now. I do not know, guys, what you think. Can Chris Mchang uh, possibly win this battle? Who is based? Chris Mchangwa understands one thing. He understands that he will never pres be president in Zimbabwe. He, he, they will never allow him to be president in Zimbabwe. But he can maneuver and work something out. Remember, there are now two factions within the war veterans. He is the chairman and there is another chairman, which means there are two factions fighting for the control of the war veterans. But the same war veterans are the same people who are being chased out of the farms which gives Chris Mchangwa an upper end when it comes to uh, mobilizing. Because you will say, Ndaka Zingir wa Mukabinet, because I was trying to stop the evictions which are now happening. That is the reason why I was fired. And if you put it together, put everything together, you will understand Kuti Chris Mchangwa will have an upper end if he manages to run propaganda in that direction. And given that the situation in Zimbabwe is um is not good. The economy is not functional. Things are going south. Prices are going up and everything is um uh, going south. And school fees is not uh, um, uh, affordable. Healthcare not affordable. Everything not affordable. Yet the salaries are so, so, so low. What it means is that um expect more chaos. So they think that they've silenced the opposition, but they have not because they do not know what Nelson Chamisa is planning. Also, at the same moment, they do not know who other people are supporting Nelson Chamisa from within Zanupia and what is going to happen next. They do not know. When Nelson Chamisa abandoned the court case, they don't even know what happened before the Constitu Constitutional Court. And I will talk about that loophole, yo, 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 Team Zimbabwe, which uh, I, I recently got to know, a very important loophole, which might uh, empower Nelson Chamisa to challenge the 2023 elections. I will not talk about it now, but one day I will have to talk about it when it's convenient for me to do so. There is a fresh loophole, which um, I got to know recently, which will empower Nelson Chamisa to actually fight uh, for, 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 for the 2023 elections. And if he wins that case in such a way, then boom, Nelson Chamisa from Norway uh, will be there. So it is what it is in Zimbabwe. So right now, there are two ways which Nelson Chamisa can exhaust to be in power. Number one, to fight through the courts when something happens, or to push for fresh elections. So, and this way, guys, we'll continue to watch and see.